Hey there everyone, it's Val and welcome back to Fallout 4 Rebuilding Avalon. <coughs> Hang on here just a sec. Sorry, throat was acting up. Alrighty, let's wake Avalon up. Ah, I know I haven't been talking to you guys for a while. I've been so busy working on, well, everything. Oh, you got to be kidding me. All right, I'm going to have to fix that. I have been very, very, very busy. And I wanted to, to address something that uh, the some of you advisors may have noticed. I, well... Remember that Desdemona asked me to go to Triconderoa because there was a word of, that there was a courser in the area? Well, after things went to hell, because I went to went first uh, to the Institute to see Father, and that went very poorly because I was set up, um, I did get word from Desdemona that the uh, whatever the issue was at Triconderoa was no longer happening. So I don't know what the resolution was. I don't know if things went bad, but um, <clears throat> that's I why. The last time I had clean thing in this. What are you doing? You're a guard. Um, but anyway, that's why I didn't go there, and I forgot to tell you that I had received word that there was no point in going there. But in case somebody th thought that I just, you know, totally forgot. <clears throat> um, you know, it was one of those things that... I don't know, maybe the courser was called back? There. Go in the pen. Um, maybe the courser was called back because of what had happened at the Institute and therefore the issue... There was no longer an issue? I don't know. All right. Anyway, <clears throat> I thought I'd show you, if I can get my act together here, I thought I'd show you what I've been so busy uh, with and not really paying attention. Well, I haven't really felt your presence, uh, probably because you guys saw, anybody that came by saw that I was working my, working like a dog, getting everything done. All right. Basically, um, at Country Crossing, Nordhagen Beach, uh, Oberlin Station, of course, Sanctuary. <clears throat> it always says there's an issue there, but whenever I go there, there's not, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, Starlight Drive-In. So that is one, two, three, four, five settlements. I, excepting Sanctuary Hills, which of course is the one that I've been working on the most, on all of them, <clears throat> I set up enough, uh, I, I, put a wall around the settlement. Uh, there are 19 beds in undercover for future growth. I give, uh, I set up uh, basic food because as people come in they seem to go and work on the food so every, there's all types of food growing. Uh, Starlight Driving actually has more water than the others. The others I'm gonna have to visit as we get more people there and add more water. And basically the power that's there is enough to run two water sources plus the recruitment beacon. And I have decided that every one of the settlements would have at least a trader, uh, but at Starlight Driving, because it's such a big site, and of course at Sanctuary, I have put all six. Now. I did manage to afford the best ones here, even though they don't currently have workers at all of them yet. And I, in the process of upgrading the ones at uh, Sanctuary. However, all that came to a lot more money than I expected, and I'm getting towards broke again. So it's a good thing I was hoarding all that money because, well, we needed it. We needed it for work. 
to set these things up because they're expensive. They're really nice uh, clinics and, you know, other booths. These cost, some of them cost like 3,000 bottle, bottle caps to make. Um, I get, <clears throat> I assume that's to buy this, the, the supplies to uh, start the store up. So, yeah. And something else that I discovered, which I had heard of, you know, the settlements had mentioned to me, or settlers had mentioned to me that they were putting extra stuff in the uh, the workshop in Sanctuary, but I had throw, put some of stuff in there. I really never noticed um, any difference. However, um, all this stuff, I really haven't been putting this stuff in here. Some of it I did, but most of it I didn't. Um, and I assume that it's because it uh, we're deconstructing things and they're being sent over from uh, Sanctuary. However, of course, we're, we're making some money from our shops. And that seems to be kept in each settlement, which makes sense. So I'll have to periodically visit all the settlements to collect my goods. But this... I didn't put these in here, nor did I put that in there. So obviously the settlers um, are putting in extra excess food beyond what is needed for them, um, which makes sense. I mean, you, you would put it in a storage area. I just, this is the first time I've actually been able to see that that is happening, which is pretty cool. All right, so... Um, <clears throat> I've also decided at the smaller settlements, each one is going to have three guards. Um, all of them have at least one guard now. Um, this one and County Crossing has two, I think. Because uh, County Crossing, actually, while I was working there, some raiders decided to come by. And uh, I, we had to discourage them. <clears throat> so I decided a second guard was in order. And a bigger, the bigger one like this, um, I'm actually going to probably add four or five guards simply because it's such a big site it's hard for them to wander back and forth and <clears throat> so uh, the other thing I did was make sure that there was sufficient uh, firepower present in each site hopefully to discourage uh, the raiders actually these raiders that I was just mentioning showed up before I finished uh, setting up everything uh, so if you notice we have very similar defense ratings for each one. So, right. So the, the settlements that I didn't do anything on are the Brotherhood of Steels, because that's their lookout, not mine. Um, oh, Jamaica Plain. Actually, I forgot. J Jamaica Plain can be mine. Right, so I might might have to work on building that settlement up as well. However, I am getting rather short on wood. Um, I had to kind of scrounge around for some extra wood because I was getting really low. Um, and of course the railroad spots I'm not looking after either. But end result is I've had enough of building. I have been working and working and building and I did leave the settlers with some instructions on things I wanted them to work on. And I know, like, this site, I didn't have to fence off the whole thing uh, for, for protection. And, you know, originally, <clears throat> with this one, I had the wall roughly here going across. And then I realized, if I didn't include this behind the wall, raiders would probably go up there and could take pot shots very easily at my people. And, yes, my people... If I'm putting this much work into the place, it's, these are my people. Uh, so yeah, I, that's when I revised and redid the wall around it. So that we don't have to worry about that. So, I have made this place as impregnable as possible. And... Well, I've also discovered there's a new door that I didn't know about before. I must have found the uh, instructions somewhere. 
but uh, this one I like much better than the smaller one. So at some point in Sanctuary, I might rework the, the gateway in to make use of that bigger, more imposing gate. <clears throat> and I have to talk to somebody about maybe moving these, the remains of these people, perhaps burying them. Um, and unfortunately, um, I haven't found anybody showing any interest to move them. And I can't, yeah, we, we've got to find a better place for them. And out of character, I cannot move the skeletons. <laughs> I can't pick them up. And Aval so that's why Avalon hasn't done it herself. She would like to, but that is not possible in game. So, yeah, we have skeletons lying around I can't do anything about. <clears throat> All right. Anyway, like I said, I put down at least four of each type of food. And, um, well, that should be sufficient. This one is a little harder to see. You know what I call a good day? One that ends without an empty stomach. Well, I'm doing the best to make sure you have good days here. And I'm just going to have a look and see if we've, if anybody new has shown up. No, the numbers all look the same as the last time I looked at them. <coughs> okay. Well. I think... Oh yes, I also had to rework this. Because originally I had the wall going here to the point where they couldn't get through. And for some reason, this is the direction that the provisioners want to go. And... So I had to make it possible. And last thing I wanted to show you. All right. So I sent the sanctuary uh, provisioner down here. And I'll probably at some point will change that. So that somebody from Oberlin Station will go up to Starlight Drive-In. And I will tell that person they don't need to do that anymore. They don't need to make that long trek. Because it is a long trek. And you may remember last time I had the uh, provisioner going to Boston Airport. And... Of course, the county crossing provision are going down here. I changed that as well. I figured um, there was no point in including other places. And actually, I could do Red Rocket as well. Yeah, I might do Red Rocket. Anyway, like I said, that's enough. That's enough for now. Now, it looks like... I was helping somebody out at Tim Pines Bluff. I don't actually remember being there. Yeah, no, I've never actually been there. But apparently I took care of the raider problem at some point. Um, but I would like... I'm going to make a quick run at to Sanctuary. Uh, because I would like to... Um, I need to drop off the excess armor that I've had for guards. I, I left enough sets for... Ooh, actually. Hmm. I, I think I'm going to leave two more sets here if I have enough for two more sets on me. Enough for guards. So when I stop by, the armor is there. There you go. Now you're in there. Good Brahmin. Right. Okay, so let's just put this in here. I also need to leave four sets of clothing for... Oh, I don't know if I have that many. One, two. I have two sets. Alright, well I'm going to have to uh, look into doing two more of those. Oh, no. I guess somebody's going to get a dirty blue suit. Unfortunately. Uh, although I could do one with the military fatigues. Well, I need... Yeah, okay, let's put one military fatigue in there. Somebody who is doing the armor stand will get that. I suppose I could give somebody maybe a red dress. Let's put that in there too, because... If I assign a lady to do the clothing stand, I could give her a dress. <clears throat> anyway. Um, Alright, so... Two right legs, two helmets, a 
sure. Um, I need another left leg. Okay, two right arms, two left arms, chest pieces. Yeah, okay, those that'll. All right. Uh, oh wait, did I? Three? No, I need some more. Actually, maybe I'll give them military fatigues. There we go. All right. There, that should be enough for guards for here. Do I have left, right, left leg, right leg, chest pieces? I might keep enough for two more sets on me, just in case, because we're going to go talk to Preston, and if he gives me a job, then I'm going to need to make sure... I need to make sure um, if uh, we're taking on another settlement, I have enough to at least set up the provisioner to go to the next town and not be a problem. And Putsaru, hello! Welcome to the madness. It's nice to hear an advisor's voice. Okay. I also paid attention to how quick it was to travel with the vertebrate, and I traveled about halfway across the map in about 40 minutes on a vertebrate, so that's good to know. For emergencies, vertebrates are the way to go. Putsuru, how are you doing today? Alright. Oh, it's foggy. See, doesn't this look so such a piddly small gate when compared to the enormous gates that we saw? But I have to totally rework the entrance here. I mean that gate's fine. I just Okay, well, I got enough work to do. I suppose I shouldn't be looking at things that I Really can't. Or, I, I shouldn't be taking on more work if, if I don't need to. So I was able to upgrade this one before I ran out of money, so I still need to make these all better. These four. I did manage to do the clinic. And what I did was I decided I had too many guards uh, for Sanctuary, and I actually recruited two people off of guard duty. One to tend the clinic, and one to become a provisioner to Oberlin Station. And so, so far, I think that will be okay because we also have Preston. We have, Hell, I have a ton of them. Um, Spill it. No. Uh, well, brain's not working. Codsworth. They're, they're, they, they are both quite able to help protect the settlement, so really we still have the same number an appropriate number of guards, because there was at least three that I saw at on patrol, including McCready, before. Alright, anyway. Like I said, I want to make sure I have at least two sets on me. So let's drop this and this. Got a lot of legs. We don't need that many legs. Uh, let's see, if I get a right arm... Oh, apparently right arms are harder to come by. 
BVB, hello! Welcome to the madness. There we go. There's another right arm. Okay. So we have a flight helmet. We'll keep those. We'll put the flight helmet here. Now, do I have any other military-looking clothing? I don't think I do. I'm not going to use Courser's uniform, obviously. Let's put that in there. That can go in there. I'm not going to give Long John's. Uh, I guess we'll use road leathers. <clears throat> so let's keep ten. Oh. Yeah, let's put that back. This and this. That. Alright. So we've got helmet. We've got the right arm. Right arm. Okay, good. The combat right arm. Okay, let's put this one away. Alright, that should do. And what else do I have that's... He oh! That's the wood that I put on me. So let's put that up back in the uh, crafting station because I don't need to carry that. Not sure why I had it on me in the first place, but... But that, I think, is all the wood I have, actually. That's probably why I had it on me. <clears throat> so I knew exactly what I had. Uh... I was going to get something here. Right. Need a blood bug something or other. I think it's under here. Blood fly again. Eventually we're going to visit Diamond City and I can drop this off, but... Uh... Wanted for experiments. Ah, guide, greeter, reader, hello, welcome to the madness. Oh, and mad it has been. Okay, right now, where is Preston? Don't do that. When I see you do that, make looking for trouble. I hope. Excuse me. I'll give you trouble if you're looking for some. I'm sure, I can find trouble. Hi. Stay sharp. Don't let your guard down. Okay, maybe maybe if I go help Ten Pines. Nice job with those defenses. Thank you. I've got nothing else I need right now. I think Preston may want to chat though. No, he doesn't. All right, we're gonna go to Ten Pines then because it seems like uh, Preston doesn't have anything else to say to me. Uh, actually, since Carla is here, that's empty. If I guess work, I sold them all. It's Carla. As as that. Hey there. Trading? Well, maybe. Let's see what you have. Yeah, yeah, keep your shirt on. You got anything made out of wood? I could really use wood. Actually, I want that lab coat, too. That could be useful. <clears throat> um, let's see. I did kill a few raiders and things, so I've got a little bit to sell, but not... Not that much. Okay, a little more than I thought. I don't think we'll be able to sell everything here, but I am going to buy some of the things you have. Uh, buy dirty water. All right, wood. I can't believe I'm actually buying wood. <laughs> so one thing I ran out of, well, not quite ran out of, but I was so close I did go around and look for things of wood nearby, but I didn't want to explore too far because you guys were absent. Let's grab that. And I didn't want to do too much without you. Uh, yes, the oil too.
I mean, the next settlement I take on, I might actually have to make things out of, uh, the walls out of steel, which is just strange to me. Not something I thought I'd ever have to do. Oh, that's a little bit too rich for me right now. Thank you very much. Hey, some wood. More wood. Ah. Don't suppose you have a shipment of wood, do you? No, you don't. Dang it. Uh. Hmm. All right, well, I guess I don't need to sell you everything I was going to then. Let's take some of the more... Let's take that one back. And... All right, that'll do. Thank you. All right. Hey, if you're looking for armor, I may have something you can use. Perhaps the railroad guys Let's have Let's see what you have. <clears throat> Here's what I've got. Possibly. If we do end up taking on another settlement, I will look at going there and seeing if they do have wood. I have to admit, though, I don't think I've ever seen a shipment of wood from anybody. Ever. All right. Looking for a weapon? <clears throat> no, but uh, let's see what you got. Here's what I've got. Looking to sell you stuff, because I need all the cash I can get right now. Aside from wood. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it was Carla. A hundred miles. If I knew there was a pile of caps waiting for me at the end. <clears throat> I'm sure you would. Right now, so would I. <laughs> so if you hear of a treasure hoard, do let me know. All right. You know, actually, let's just double check. Yeah, I'm not sure why the, ha the happiness, you know, I come, I get, I, I think what I'm, is happening is I'm getting a complaint once in a while through the pit boy from the settlement here, and I come here and there's nothing wrong, yet they're still grouching, I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe they want better traders, which... Uh, trading st stands. That's probably what it is. Well, we'll work on that when I have the cash, which I don't currently have. Hi! How's it going? That is probably the provisioner coming from Oberland. I have no idea. So where... I presume he's probably coming up this way, but... Why is he kind of walking up... Ah, never mind. You would think it'll be make a little more sense to take this road, but... No. No. Actually, that was a she. No, she's not. 
All right. Let's get that out of there. All right. I am going to run to who? I guess we'll go back to Starlight Drive-In. And we might as well run up from there, because Bedford Station is probably infested. The only other place that might make a sense to go... Radio towers are usually pretty quiet, but... Yeah, we'll go to the, back to the drive-in. I'll talk to you when I get there. Ah, and while she... Mm. And with all the stuff I've done with traders, I did figure out a little bit more stuff. Uh, let's see if I, There. I have been uh, figuring out how to price things, and that seems to have come in handy. With uh, setting up the the best uh, trading stalls. All right, so this way? No, I want to go north-ish? That way. Actually, come to think of it, it was actually kind of funny when the raiders showed up. Because um, they were off that side, and they were actually a fair distance away, and they were basically blown away by the, uh, the turrets up there. I did help, but I'm sure if I hadn't, uh, it would have done just fine all on its own. The turrets, I mean. So, I was quite, quite heartened to see that. And... Now these, I can only assume, have been killed by the uh, Provisioner, which means I give, have given them decent armor. Because I did not kill that raider, and I did not. And I don't think they can be shot at from, I suppose? No, they, I don't think there's a tur turret that can see the this spot. But maybe I should think about making sure that the turret can see the spot later on. Ah, oh, no, this fog. Pain. Alright. This way. Hmm. What's going on here? Oh, not good. Oh, hang on. No, don't you be shooting my guys. You just forget it. Not gonna happen. Okay, so I thought it was after my that that mm, provisioner. Oh, 
That it? Wow. Okay. Where, where? Where are you? Okay. Mole rat infestation. More mole rats. What the frick is the mole rat? Hmm. Where is it? Dang it. All right, we'll get rid of it. There we go. Okay. Not. Hmm. Not was expecting. Just listening here. Because there was the one super mutant. No wonder he was not having a lot of luck if he was trying to beat them to death with a board. Any wood? I could use some more wood. Wait a minute. I don't know if I can deconstruct that. Can I get wood wood from this? Hmm. I should be able to, right? I mean it's a board. Hmm. I mean it's a sharpened board, but might be able to do that. Hmm. Oh, is that a tunnel? I think I might have a look. What did I just hear? then there's going to be more oh yes 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 there's more ouch Have a 
little snack here. Get rid of some of my radiation that I picked up from a radiation storm that happened while I was building. Oh. Whoa. Those mole rats have been holding out on me. That's the way I came in. Alright. Let's have a look around this pile of debris. Almost, but not quite. All right. Okay, let's go back this way. Because there was that poor settler that we saw. Poor deceased settler. And I saw another person who might need our... Right, up here. This is it. Hmm. Hey folks, time for some news. No, actually, this time it's more addressing some rumors. I'm sure many of you have heard tales of the railroad. The group working the streets or trying to escape the institution. While it's impossible to well, I wish I could break those boxes up, but... Okay, maybe I shouldn't have taken that. Um, I'm gonna take it. This is obviously asshat territory. Which explains... I was thinking that there was... A settler here. So there might have been a settler living here, but I don't think so based, sorry bud, based on the thing here. Oh, just... Oh, almost. Yes. Silence. Okay, somebody was... <sighs> Why? Was there a mutated hound in there at some point? That they were trying to mutate more? armor back on before I forget and then wonder why I'm getting shot and hurt so much. Alrighty. And, of course, the glasses. Okay, that's Bedford Station. 
don't need to go there. So I wonder what Tin Pines has going on. I'm assuming that's what Preston is waiting for me to do first. I don't remember getting him giving me that job, but it is pot. Oh, that would be the signal that I was within range of. Hmm. You see that across there? What is that? That might be where we're going. Hmm. Oops. I actually want to go up top and have a look at that first before waltzing right underneath it just in case it's a trap it's it's uh bridge Yes, it is a bridge. Okay, I see some ass hattery that needs to be shot. Just bugs. Hate them, hate them so much. Okay, come back here. I wasted a bunch of ammo on you. I want your goods. To sell, if nothing else. Give me that. Oh? Why is there a... Frag mine? Over there. Okay, never mind, never mind. We're going to Ten Pines Bluff. We were almost there when I got sidetracked. I think it's across the bridge, so. There's frag mines. It's somebody's trying to protect something. It's probably raiders. I'll probably have to kick their asses at some point. Especially if I end up having another settlement looking to me over here, but for now, let's get across this. Extremely sturdy <coughs> looking bridge. Let's walk quickly across the bridge that actually is very, not quite sturdy looking, but it does appear to be sturdy despite appearances. I wouldn't want to walk across it in power armor though, at least not slowly. Well, this is wild corn. Not a farm field. Okay, I think this is where we're going. Yep. 
Tin Pines Bluff. Hey, hello. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. Ah. Uh. If I told you I'm with the Minutemen, would you still want to shoot me? You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word to <clears> one of them passing traders, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days, after Quincy. Bad business, that. Quincy? Hmm. Well, I could be snarky, but I think we should tell him we're re about the bit Minuteman that I'm working with Preston to rebuild it, so... yeah. We're rebuilding the Minutemen from the ground up. We're the good guys again. Glad to hear it. No question that things have been worse since the Minutemen fell to pieces. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Raiders. Well, I was about to say that uh, I've already, um, hmm. I already kicked their asses. You're welcome. No kidding? That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. You know what? I'm going to take a chance on you. If we want things to yeah. get better, we've got to start helping each other. Yes, we so, do. We're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. You're welcome. So this, this is, ah, there are more people. I was just say, this is it. There's one person. Two people, looks like, to judge either that or they sleep in it in shifts. Hi. It would be nice to have the Minutemen back, wouldn't it? I don't know. You think we might see them again someday? <sighs> Who knows? I wouldn't count on it. If you ask me, they're done for. Hello? Probably right. It's too bad. We could sure use them. Hello? Standing right here. I hope you ain't one of them since. Here to spy on me. Have you ever... Knowing those raiders are taken care of will go a long way in getting a good night's sleep. Have you ever seen a synth hop up and down going, Hello? I don't think so. Okay, so it looks like they... Hmm. Well... I have a feeling I'm going to be working on these. What the? Oh, just no. Get away. Yeah. Oops. Not you. You. Just die. This time. What do you mean, this time? This was your rad roach problem. They didn't just show up because I got here. <sighs> right. Well, I hope you have lots of wood lying around. <sighs> wow. Right, well... <clears throat> how big of a sight. I hope you realize how much you did for us. Oh, you're, you're welcome. Um, trust me, there's a time when I wouldn't have. Alright, it's not that huge of a place. So I might actually have enough wood, especially if I clean up the area, to look after it and... Now, where is the road from here? Where would be the best place to put the entrance? Hmm. Probably... Probably by the bridge. Where the bridge comes from. Which is over there. Alright. Well, I'm going to start by giving them some 
basic turret stuff. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm actually going to have to set one of you up as a provisioner, aren't I? Or I won't have access to my, all my stuff. So, who who would like to... Who would like to make trips to Starlight Drive-In? It's up to you. Actually, you, you look pretty handy with a gun. Not that you aren't, but, uh... Yeah. Just looking to trade a little. Sorry to wake you up. I'm sure you weren't actually asleep yet. I need to give you equipment because I have a job for you. Okay. Oh, he doesn't seem too upset by that, so that that's good. Maybe he's tired of farming. All right. Chest left, left, right, left, left, right, left. Uh, heavy combat armor. Right arm. You can have that. So, uh, some clothes. Clothes would be good. Right? You need that too. Hmm. Did I. Ah, that's what I did. Okay. Put that on first. <laughs> you like that, did you, BVB? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just... Uh, for, uh, I'm getting a little silly from having been out in the sun too long building everything. But I'm in... Considering the fact the Institute is... is I was set up at the Institute. Sean is dead. I'm in an odd, absurdly good mood for some reason. I have no idea why. All right. <laughs> silly is fun. Yes, I don't think I've been silly a lot. So it is kind of nice to be feel like being silly for once. Yes, BVB, Sean did die. Um, I was actually going there to talk to him. Um, for what I knew was the last time, but, of course, he didn't know that. And somebody would set a trap that went off just as I arrived, and he died. And, well, at least it was quick. Of, co of course, I wasn't given a chance to explain that it wasn't me. And the entire institute was out for my blood. And needless to say, they started sending coursers after me now. Whoever is in charge now that Sean is dead... I mean, he was dying from cancer, you know, so he was going to be dead soon anyway. And I guess in a way, I'm glad that I didn't have to be the one to kill him, but I would rather have done it my way, you know? <sighs> so that's why I don't understand. I'm in an absurdly good mood. Don't understand. Uh, let's see. I said that I wanted you to make trips to Starlight Drive-In. Yes, please. There you go. Fabulous. Now you can bring me supplies so that I can actually see about uh, making this place a little more secure. I will leave the walls for now, but because I'm not going to do the walls right now, I will give you the best turrets. And that will help help you guys out. Let's put it here. Did it fit there? No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come here. I saw you. You were fitting there.
Hope their shack can support all this armament. Maybe the, the you're right, BBB. Maybe the good mood comes from not being the one to have to kill him. I I don't know. Maybe. Uh. All right. So that that's going to protect them. Yeah, I would like. Hmm. Alright, I just saw that it's time to cycle the stream, so I'm going to do that right now, <laughs> before she gets too deep in building here. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the stream so far. I will be back in a couple of minutes. If you're watching on YouTube, please look in the upcoming live stream section. It will be number 212. I will be right back. See you in a bit. <laughs>